everybody. Welcome to Cooking with Lady D. Hope you're having a good Friday. Let me just say, please share this video. Click like and follow me. Yes, it is Friday. Honey, where did the week go? Where did the week go? This, the week goes by so fast, but it's all good. As long as you're in good health, sound mind, you're blessed. That's all that matters. All right, so today we're going to knock out couple of small desserts okay small desserts is what we're going to knock out today hey there good to see you all right so we're going to do a mini apple pie as well as an apple tart this is harvest season we know so with harvest season there are a lot of apples apples are on sale and this is the time to, to eat apples apple a day keep the doctor away eh. so will an apple pie eh. so will a little bit of apple tart too huh all right so the first thing we're going to do we're gonna go ahead on and get our apple tart together, okay? So what we have here, I have gala apples, okay? I like to use the gala apples for the tart. Go ahead and put this in the pot. And again, this is gonna be a pretty quick video. So there are the gala apples, they're chopped up. To those gala apples, I'm going to put in some cranberry craisins. Put that in there. We're gonna put in some raisins. Drop that on in there. We're gonna put in some pecans. It's a tart, so it should be a mixture of several great things. Let's see here, let me start moving stuff. We're gonna put in, it's, a, it's gonna be a individual, every, a, a individual apple pie and an individual tart. So I'm gonna be using small amounts of ingredients, okay? So don't be alarmed. So right now we have here about a teaspoon of butter. That's it about a teaspoon of butter. Okay, and then we got here about, I would say two and a half tablespoons of brown sugar. Gonna put that in there. Then we're gonna put about two tablespoons of orange juice. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up. Gonna turn my eye on. Turn that on here. Okay, now aside from that, we have some granola. Okay, I'm using the honey almond granola. So I'm gonna put maybe about a tablespoon of granola in here as well. Okay, I'm gonna stir that around. And that's all for now, because what happens is the apple creates its own juice. So that's all with the main dropping. So now we're just gonna put about a teaspoon of vanilla. We're gonna do nutmeg, nutmeg, okay? Probably about a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. We're gonna put cinnamon. About a teaspoon of cinnamon. All right, so with that, let's make sure because I have two separate separate ingredients here. I'm going to have to change this eye because this is a small pot and um, the eye that it's on right now is for a pretty large pot. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and switch this pot out. Put it over here. This eye is really large, like for a large um, frying pan or a large pot. Okay. And that's it. That's it for the tart. So we're going to let that go and do its thing. I'm going to put it on, let's say, a medium to low. Put it on about a number four. Now, in the meantime, we need to go ahead and get the bottom tray ready for the tart to sit in. So, what I have here, I have some um, graham cracker crust. Let me show you what I got. You know how you get the pie crust? Okay, and I just took the pie crust and I just shriveled it up, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and put some of that in this bowl. And I'm just going to spread it out a bit. Spread it out a bit. Okay. I don't know if you can see, but just like that. And then I'm going to take some honey granola almonds. Some honey almond granolas, actually. I'm going to put that in there as well. But I'm going to try to, like, sit it around the sides. Try to sit some around the sides. I'm gonna need to put some more in this cup also. 
for when it's ready at the end. Okay, so now that I got the graham cracker at the bottom, the granola is sitting around the side, I am going to take about a teaspoon of orange juice and I'm gonna pour in there. Hey Shaniqua, how are you? Hey Kai, hey Kaya, good to see you all. Okay, so I'm gonna take a teaspoon of orange juice and I'm gonna put it in here as well. All right, so guess what? That's it. That's it for the um. Oh, here go. That's it for the for the tart. Now we're gonna work on that apple pie. Okay. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. We just want the apples to get soft and to create its own juices. All right. So now we're gonna work on the apple pie. Once again, this is going to be a very small individual apple pie. So what that basically means is if you want to make a regular big apple pie, you're going to have to double, triple, or whatever the ingredients. Now for the apple pie, I'm using the um, granny apples. Those are the green apples. They're somewhat tart, but it's good for apple pie. Okay? Now to this, what I'm going to do, which is really, really important, I am going to add in cornstarch. And this is about two teaspoons of cornstarch, all right? And what the cornstarch does, it's going to thicken up the juices that the apple makes on its own so that you won't have a runny apple pie. So I'm just stirring the cornstarch in just like this in the apples. No big deal. Okay, no big deal. Okay, in the apples, you've got a cornstarch. It looks like... You know, well, don't look like it's going to do anything. Trust me, these ingredients are very powerful. Then I'm going to go ahead on with my butter. And here we have about, I guess, a tablespoon of butter. Tablespoon of butter. Put that in there. We're going to stir that around. Then we're going to have some flour. About a tablespoon of flour. I'll sprinkle that over there. Really easy. Apple pie is not hard to make. It may not look that good while you're mixing it together, but trust me, it's good, honey. <laughs> okay, so now that we have that mixed in, I'm going to take some brown sugar. It's about a quarter cup of brown sugar. Put that in here on those apples too, honey. Oh, yeah. All right, and now we have lemon juice, about a tablespoon of lemon juice. Go ahead and drop that on in there. <laughs> Okay, let's see how to make sure I didn't forget anything. Y'all know when I get on here, sometimes I forget stuff. Sometimes I be forgetting what I'm what I'm putting in. Hey, Cynthia, girl, we making apple pie today, uh, um, individual apple pie, and we're also making an apple tart. It is the season for apples, so we're using a granny apple for the apple pie, and I'm using the gala apple for the tart. Okay, let me turn this up a bit. That's the tart. And both of them are going to be placed in its own shell. All right. So now for the apple pie, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla. I will add nutmeg. It is an apple pie. And it is the fall time. So you know I'm going to put my nutmeg in this time. About a teaspoon. Or a little less than a teaspoon. And my cinnamon for sure. Okay. Put that cinnamon, cinnamon in there. About a teaspoon of cinnamon. Stir all of this up. This is basically the apple pie mixture. Don't look like much, but trust me. Apple makes its own juice. The flour, the cornstarch, all of that is going to bind together. Now, what I'm adding, I have something that's called apple butter syrup. I found this at Ross. <laughs> I found it at Ross, and it is absolutely delicious. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to add about two tablespoons of the apple um, apple butter syrup to the mixture as well. Okay? There we go. So guess what? We done. Let me look around because y'all know me, honey. Stuff could be sitting right on this counter on this little tray here and I'll forget about it. So I'm just taking a look. <laughs> Boom. This don't need to be here. We're done with that. One moment. Okay. All right, so I used everything. I just got to use a few of these here, and that's it. Okay, so guess what? The mixture is finished for the apple pie. Let me look at this tart right quick. 
Oh yeah, it's looking pretty darn good. I'm gonna turn it off. Apples are getting soft. I'm gonna turn it off and let it sit. Continue to get, um, create its own juices. All right, so now what I've done for this apple pie, okay? I bought pie crust, okay? I get the pie crust, the roll, so I can cut it my own way. And these little, it's kind of hot. These little trays, I got these from, I don't know, either Burlington or Ross. They have so many individual cooking trays now. Because I guess, you know, there are a lot of folks out here who, you know, don't have big households like myself. So these are great. So what I did, I took the pie crust and I put it inside like I always do. Then I put it in the oven for about seven to eight minutes until the pie crust is cooked. Because if I put it in raw, this is just my opinion now. Whenever I cook pies, if I put it in raw, I feel like the bottom is like rubbery because of the juices that I'm putting on it. So this is already cooked. Now I'm going to go ahead and take that pot, the um, apple mixture. Turn it this way. Let's see how much can go in here. Okay, it all fit. So this was about a half of an apple, actually. This wasn't a whole apple because it is a small... Um, serving so that was only about a half of an apple that i put in there let me get rid of this all right so we have our apple in here okay we have our apple and its juices so now i need to put a top on it all right i need to top it and again this is the dough that i buy you know it's the flat sheet so i can pull it apart and use it as necessary according to how I want it to be shaped. So I know this is going to be too big. So let me just go ahead and cut this in half with my hand. And I'm going to just go ahead on and lock in. I'm going to just lock in the apple filling for our apple pie. Just like that. See, apple pie, don't it don't take a long time or a lot to make apple pie. Let's see here. One of your favorite desserts. Mine's too, honey. Mine's too. Absolutely. Okay. Need one moment here. Okay. So that, I locked it in. My own way, but it don't matter. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my egg wash. Okay. Where's my little brush? Here it is. I'm going to take my egg wash, that's just the yellow egg yolk, and I'm going to go ahead on and brush it across. This is going to give it a browning, crisp, on top. But there you go. I'm just rubbing it around the top, my um egg wash. Making a mess, but it's going on, honey. There we go. Oh, I've been out today. I've been out today running around. Y'all got medical benefits like vision and stuff. The year's almost over. You better go ahead on and use them. I went to get me some more eyeglasses, yeah. If your insurance allows you to get eyeglasses every year, and you know you're paying towards that insurance, go get your eyeglasses. So I went and ordered some eyeglasses today. Not that I needed an extra pair, but I'm entitled to it. So I went on and got some more eyeglasses. They nice, too. I can't wait for them to come. All right. So... Here. All right, so the egg wash is on the mini apple pie. All right, let me get a knife so I can score it a bit. One moment. Okay, all right, so I'm just going to go ahead and score this. The oven is already preheated at 375 and I'm gonna leave it in there for about 25 to 30 minutes again depends on your oven so you need to check why am I scoring it because when all these juices come out they start to come to the top you want air you want air to be in the crust so that it will bake properly all right where's my tray um give me one moment here it is the juices are gonna spill over, so I'm not trying to have no dirty oven. So I'm gonna sit it on my aluminum pan, and guess what? This apple pie is going in the oven. 
Then we're going to take a look at the tart. There we go. So now the tart is pretty good. I'm going to put about two tablespoons of water in here. Okay. Let me kick this up again. All righty. All right. And again, these are fun desserts. And, you know, with all of the additives that I added, if you don't eat sweets, there's so many different syrups and um, substitutes, sweeteners out there. So you can always get something else. Shanika, when I make... Okay, when I make one, I can't mama. That's right, girl. That's right. Exactly. I taught you how to make it. It's going to come out good, too. You watch. It's going to come out delicious. All right. So now we're going to finish up our tart. All right? Looks really good. I'm going to go ahead and turn that tart off. I bought this little pot from Ross. So when I was at the register, the um, cashier said to me, Oh, that pot is so tiny. I wouldn't know what to use it for. I wanted to say, because your name is not Lady D. <laughs> but I did tell her, it's excellent if you're making small portions. Okay? Let me show you what this tart look like. Look at that. That's what it looks like right now. Okay? So now we're going to go ahead on. We already have the graham cracker in the bottom of this bowl, as well as granola around the sides. So I'm going to just go ahead and take... Some of the tart. Let me get a spoon. And I'm going to start putting it inside the bowl. Just put it in the bowl. And you don't even have to put it on the graham cracker and um, granola. You don't have to do it this way. Once this tart is prepared like this, you can just put this in a bowl, okay, and just eat it. It's, I do that often. You just want soft apples. Just want a nice dish, something to just eat while you're watching movies. Holiday movies is around the corner. I think well, um, Hallmark already started this, but I don't have cable, so I don't have Hallmark. So I, that's okay. Listen, don't be upset. I'm going to just find my movies on Netflix, on Amazon, or wherever else. All right, so now I, I put the tart on top of that graham cracker and granola crust. I'm going to take, um, this is about, a, I guess, about a half a tablespoon of orange juice, and I'm going to put it on top. Yeah. There we go. Pour some on top and around. I'm going to go ahead and take a few more granolas. Just sit them right on top like this. Just like that. Take a little cherry. Sit that on top of there like that. Watch me now. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the apple syrup, okay? Just a little bit. And like I said, they have so many sweeteners that are sugar-free. You'll still get a good taste. So there we go. And then finally, I'm going to take a little bit of powdered sugar. Give me one moment here. We're going to put a little bit of powdered sugar on there. Just a little bit. I'll put some in here. some powdered sugar around there. Oh, it looks so pretty. That's enough. Look at this. Look at that. Man, this looks so good. It's absolutely fabulous. But guess what? I'm going to put it in the oven. Now, this is going to be in the oven for only about six, seven minutes. And the apple pie is going to stay in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. So there you go. That goes in there about six or seven minutes. And the remainder... <coughs> of the tart as I shared earlier honey please just put a few granolas at the bottom of a bowl take the rest of that nice soft apple tart like this put it in a little dish honey you ain't got to sprinkle nothing on it mm -mm -mm. there you go you can eat it just like this You don't, I mean let me tell you huh? Mm. Oh my goodness. Ain't nothing like some baked apples, some cooked apples. This is delicious. Okay. Okay, you want to know why this big pot is out here? This big frying pan is out here because this is for my dinner. Ooh! You go ahead and be nosy. It's okay. 
when I get done with y'all, I'm getting ready to fry me some flounder, honey. I'm going to cook me some flounder fish today. Today's Friday. That's what I'm going to put in there. I'll do fish another time for y'all. Okay, so that's cooking. So, of course, for time's sake, I already have something ready. Hold tight. There you go. This is what your apple pie should be looking like when you take it out of the oven. See that? You take it out the oven, it should look like that. Mm -mm -mm. Good gracious, it look good, honey. And then let me show you what the tart is gonna look like. When your tart comes out the oven, it should look like that. Basically, it's gonna look the same way it looks when it, go, when it went in, except that it's gonna be heated up all the way through with the graham cracker at the bottom, as well as the granola is gonna soften up. So there you go, honey. Make these desserts. Y'all better get you some. I better get you some. These are excellent desserts. Easy to make. The weekend is here. So I figured let me come on over here today. Give y'all something in case you want to do some. Hey, Wilda. Honey, I made a mini apple pie using the granny apples. And then I made an apple tart. This is apple season, okay? So with the apple tart, I use the gala apples, right? So what we get ready to do now, mm, we get ready to taste this apple pie first, okay? Wait a minute. All right. So let's go ahead and taste this apple pie. It's for an individual, even though I don't know if you're going to eat this whole thing at one time. I need a spoon. I'm sorry. I need a spoon to get it up. Oh, my goodness. Look at that, y'all. See that? Oh, man, it is so good. Mmm! Oh, my goodness. It is so good. It is flaky. Apples are creamy. Mmm! Look at that. Fold up the thing. I'm going to let y'all see. Can y'all see that? Look at that. Mmm! <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something. This is delicious. I love it, I love it, I love it. You're gonna love it too. Just hold tight. Let me drink some of my water. Mmm! And you could actually put this in the freezer. That You don't have to eat all this stuff at one time. You know me. I freeze almost everything. That was good. And if you want to take your apple and you want to dip your apple in there and you want to come up with a little something, go ahead. Mmm. It's all about the apple. It's apple. It's apple seasoning. All right. Now I'm going to go over here. Yeah, that looked good. Real good. And we're going to go ahead and try the tart. And I dug the spoon all the way in at the bottom. So, you see some of the graham cracker crust. I could at least get a clean napkin, right, and stop, instead of trying to work this one around. Wait a minute. Where's my napkin? One moment. Okay, so we have pecans on here, craisins on here, raisins, granola, apples. You ready? Man, this is so delicious. Mm -mm -mm. It's good, y'all. It is really good. It is really good. Man. And again, a whole lot of stores have these little mini um, mini trays so you can make individuals like for you and whoever's here so you don't have to make a whole big one. Really good. Well, listen. Thanks for joining me. Again, if you have benefits out there, the year is almost over. Use those benefits. Went and got some new glasses this morning. So glad my friend Dorothy reminded me. 
She said, girl, you better go get those glasses. The benefits are going to be over. Next year, it's going to be new benefit. Been running today, but I wanted to come to you all and make sure I did a little something. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. Know I love you. And we'll see you in a couple of days. Peace. Mm, it's so good.